Sirvi, many thanks for joining us. And there is no respite for the Adani Group either. Eight of the group's ten listed entities ended in the red today. Adani Total, Adani Green, Adani Transmission and Adani Power hitting lower circuits over the course of the trading session. The group has lost a market cap to the tune of 20,000 crore rupees today. And this takes the total market cap loss since the Hindenburg report was released on the 24th of January to around 12 lakh crore rupees. As of today, the Adani Group's market cap stands at 7.4 lakh crores. Now, the value of life insurance corporations in Investment in the Adani Group has turned negative. An analysis by CNBC TV18 based on public disclosures by LIC shows that the insurer has sold 10% of its holding in January this year. The Hindenburg report was released on the 24th of January. The LIC chairman, MR Kumar, told CNBC TV18 that Adani shares have not been sold since the report was released. But as things stand, LIC is sitting on losses of 234 crore rupees on its Adani investment to date. Yash joins us now with the details of the CNBC TV18 analysis. Yash. Well, Shireen, the big headline is that LIC's investments in Adani Group companies have turned negative today. Uh, we put together some interesting numbers supporting that headline. And these numbers also throw some interesting facts. Uh, interestingly, LIC is likely to have sold Adani Group shares worth 6,400 crore rupees between January 1st to January 24th. How did we arrive at that conclusion? Now, look at the turn of events on January 27th. LIC disclosed that the value of its investments in Adani Group companies was 56,142 crore rupees. When the same was calculated, taking in consideration the December shareholding pattern, then it comes to 62,550 crore rupees. The difference is about 6,400 crore rupees or 10% of LIC's holding in Adani Group companies, which is likely to have been sold between between January 1st to January 24th. Now let's come to the point of LIC's investment in the Adani Group companies turning negative. Now the closing value today for LIC's investment uh, is uh, about uh, about uh, 33,215 crore rupees. Adjust this to a possible 10% sale, uh, which was made by LIC in uh, January, and that will give you the number of 29,893 crore rupees. Now compare this to LIC's cost of purchase, which was 30,127 crore rupees. So as things stand, LIC is sitting on losses of about 234 crore rupees. As I mentioned, LIC bought stocks at about 30,127 crore rupees and its investment value as of today's market close is uh, 29,893 crore rupees. This shows that LIC is in red by about 234 crore rupees. Well, thanks very much, uh, Yash, for joining us with the details there. That is, of course, the CNBC TV18 analysis. Moving on, here's the action from the commodity market. Crude oil prices continue to trade in a range. Prices have seen some recovery after six days of losses. Concerns over potential interest rate hikes by central banks and a build-up in crude inventory weighing on sentiment. But back home, the big corporate story. Z Entertainment has now moved the NCLAT seeking a stay on the insolvency